Hey, what's up? It's comedian Roy Wood Jr. I'm chilling out in the Buffalo Wild Wings and a hockey jersey that's way too small for me to give you the best things to watch for this week, June, is it 16th? I, you, you know what week it is. Best to watch this week, sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings. Everybody's going to be watching the NBA Finals. They're pulling in record ratings for ABC. I knew this one was going to go six or seven games, says everyone who's seen that it's now going six or seven games. Everybody was picking Golden State to sweep. I'm going to be honest. I thought Golden State would do this in five games. Y'all wasn't prepared for Matthew Della Vadova. It goes Riley Curry, Matthew Della Vadova. That's the order of new stars who found their way in this finals. Matthew Della Vadova, I still can't spell your name, but sir, you are now in my top five favorite Australians of all time, right behind Croc Hunter, Crocodile Dundee, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, and Kangaroo Jack. Golf fans, you got the US Open at Chambers Bay up there in the Pacific Northwest, the 115th edition of the US Open. I think at this point, if you like golf and you're watching golf, you're watching it for some reason other than Tiger Woods. In the history of Tiger Woods, this is the worst Tiger Woods Tiger has ever been. And check out this 15-year-old kid, Colin Hammer, 15 years old and is qualified for the tour. When you're in your 20s, it's, yeah, man, way to go. But when you're 36 and you find out a 15-year-old is doing something you'll never be able to do in life, you get jealous and you think about all the bad choices you make. The U.S. Women's World Cup, you definitely want to watch that, even if you're not a soccer fan. It's great to see soccer played at an international level. I don't care if it's men's or women's. I just want to see America be America, get America. Abby Wambach, you know, she's probably the heart and soul of the U.S. women's team. She talked about how painful it was when the women's national team lost the last World Cup to Japan. Now they have a chance for redemption, and I think they're going to get it. She got that focus. Look at her. Look at them eyes. Look deep in them eyes. Them like some eyes that ain't playing around. U.S. women by eight goals every game. That's my prediction. Baseball fans, Father's Day. You have the Dodgers taking on the Giants. This is one of the oldest rivalries in the sport. It goes all the way back to the 1800s. 1889 was the first time these two teams played. Lifetime, only about 100 wins separates each team. I'm really looking for good things from the Dodgers right now. You know, they got this young upstart rookie, Jock Peterson. He is now my favorite Jock. I put him right underneath Jock Jones, Young Jock the Rapper, and Jock Cousteau. I don't even think Jock Cousteau is spelled the same. You know what I meant. MMA 138, Bellator, which means warrior in Latin, is gonna be happening in St. Louis this week. It's a tournament, you don't fight just once. You fight the dude in this bracket, then you fight the winner of those two dudes, and then you two dudes fight, and then you fight the winner of the other dude. It's basically March Madness for butt whoopings. The winner gets a check for $100,000 and a guaranteed shot at a title fight three years from now after they recover in the hospital from fighting five times in a row in one weekend. The other thing you have to watch this week is my man Dwayne The Rock Johnson. This dude owns the world right now. San Andreas was huge in theaters, and now on Sunday night, his new series, Ballers, premieres on HBO. It's a half-hour comedy where he plays a financial advisor to professional athletes, some former, some current. It's basically a sports version of Entourage. I think it's going to be hilarious. The Rock is funny in just about everything he does, and he gets ripped. Just ripped. Celebrity birthdays this week, Northwest, Phil Mickelson, Kendrick Lamar, Venus Williams, Neil Patrick Harris had a birthday. Congrats to you, sir. Blake Shelton, Dirk Nowitzki, and Nicole Kidman. And you know what? I should probably put Nicole Kidman in my top Australian. She's Australian, but not before Kangaroo Jack. So that's what you need to watch this week. I've been comedian Roy Wood Jr. for USA Today Sports. Thank you to Buffalo Wild Wings for having me. I'm gonna go have myself some wings and try not to dirty up my hockey jersey that's way too small for me. Appreciate it, Dave Bolin. Best to watch this week. Sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings.